Mark your calendars. We now know when cruises will begin sailing again from Port Miami. This is a big boost for South Florida and the industry hit hard by the pandemic. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live tonight at Port Miami with details. Ted. Lauren and Elliot, no passengers have sailed out of our ports for more than a year now, but that's all about to change this summer and fall. Norwegian Cruise Line is the latest to announce new sail dates from Port Miami after being shut down for 15 months. It's an exciting time. Stuart Sheeran is known as the cruise guy. He's a Miami-based cruise expert and travel agent. The science is supporting the cruise industry to resume operations, and now we're actually seeing light at the tunnel. We're seeing you know, cruise lines being able to make announcements so we, we can actually start planning summer vacations. I'm so excited. Uh, all of our planning, all of our hard work is coming to fruition. Miami-Dade Mayor Daniela Levine Cava has been pushing to get the industry going again and is thrilled to hear some dates for cruises. Starting July, that will be our best hope for the beginning and through the fall. Hopefully we'll get all of our major cruise lines out into the ocean. So far, Carnival recently announced the Horizon will set sail on July 4th. The Norwegian Joy is scheduled to cruise from Port Miami on October 19th. The Encore and Pearl will follow in November and December. The first Norwegian cruise will require that passengers get vaccinated. To avoid vaccination requirements, the CDC is allowing ships to do test voyages. Royal Caribbean's Freedom of the Seas is planning one in June. They would like to see, you know, if they can follow the protocols and and, and not and then have no, you know, COVID cases is on board to show that their protocols are, are safe. There's been a lot of confusion about the vaccination requirement after Governor DeSantis and the legislature banned companies from requiring proof. I think this wrinkle that Governor DeSantis has thrown in regarding not allowing companies to require COVID vaccination proof is foolish. Maritime attorney Michael Winkleman believes it's dangerous to set sail without vaccinated passengers and crew. I don't think uh, Governor DeSantis will seek to actually enforce it. If and when the cruise line starts sailing and do require proof of vaccination, I think this is something more of a political stunt rather than an actual uh, policy consideration. Sound confusing? It is. It may sound uh, a bit confusing now, but you know, once people focus on specifically what they're looking for, the cruise lines will provide them the most up-to-date information. Um, but eventually it could, it could change over the course of the next three to four months. As you heard, their experts are stressing that information can change quickly and frequently. So if you've booked a cruise, make sure you stay in contact with your travel agent or the cruise line. That way you can be up to date if there are any changes. Live in Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News. Ted, thank you.